Hi, I'm Peter again, and now we're going to talk about stocking. Stocking is so important to make sure that we don't have out of stocks or that we don't have out of stocks that are in the store that aren't out of stock, that could be stocked on the shelf. This one here has one item on the shelf. If somebody was to buy this, it's an out of stock. So it's good to go through the back stocks and work the back stock to make sure that if this is in the store, we stock it. So that if the customer was to buy this one, there's another one behind it. Why is rotation important? The products that we sell are all natural. There's no preservatives, no colors, no artificial sweeteners. It's just natural products. The shelf life on the products generally is not that long three to six months in some cases. So we want to make sure we always have the freshest product on the front of the shelf and the product with a lot longer date behind in the back. So rotation is very important to make sure that we have the freshest product on the shelf. We have back stock in many places within the store. There's a back stock room generally in most stores and there's back stock on the aisles as well. We have singles, on the top stock here and we have a top stock shelf. So when we come to stock we start with the single shelf first. So we want to stock all these before we stock the cases. You don't want to be opening cases and have a lot of product on here of the same item. So we start with the singles. So generally you take the first item on the shelf, you bring it down and you look at it and see if you can find it on the shelf. So this item here is right here. Always check the dates when you're stocking, okay? So the date on this one is February 2016, and we're gonna check the date on this one here, February 2016. They probably came in on the same case. And after you work through all the singles, make sure you front and face the top as well. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to look at the top stock cases, which is the very top shelf here. As you can see, these are all full boxes, full cases. So we're going to start on this item here at the end here and see if we need this. This is guayaki, traditional, your yerba mate tea. So we're going to find it on the shelf. It's right here. And as I look, this is the only bottle on the shelf. So we don't want to stock a case unless we can stock more than a half a case. So that would probably be about seven jars if you can stock seven, you should open the case. Sometimes only six might fit on the shelf and at that point you're going to have to stock the case. So this one here, we can fit six on the shelf only all the way to the back. So we're going to stock the case because there's only one on the shelf. So we need to get our ladder out, get that case out. Open your ladder up completely, make sure these, these things are completely flat and tight. And this, smoothly on the ground, okay? So then we grab the case and bring it down. And then you want to put your ladder back so it doesn't take up too much space on the aisle. Okay, most boxes require you using your box cutter, so it's always good to have it in your pocket. You always want to cut away from you, not towards you, so we're going to cut this one right here on top and cut away from you in that direction. You don't want to be cutting anything towards you, so I cut yourself. Okay, so always check the dates before you stop. This one here is September 2016, and check and see what you have on the shelf. This is June 2016, so these this June one has to go in front of the September ones. So we're gonna stock the September ones first. Okay, and then this one goes in the front of all that. Okay, so now we have six bottles left over that we're gonna to have to put on this single shelf. So we're gonna get our ladder out here and find a spot to put it. We just want our front and face up here as well. Okay, keep this looking nice. Thank you. 